And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. It is Sunday. Hope you all having a good weekend. And I, it seems to be the uh, guest commentator weekend. I have a, another guest commentator. This time it is Major Owens from the 4th Georgia. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you on here. And uh, if you can, just give me you know, a little introduction to who, for, you know, what 4th Georgia is and kind of your role in them. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Um, so, for Sorry, um, sorry. Fourth Georgia, we've been about um, since last end of last year, and I've recently become the owner of it. So um, I'm just looking over all the operations of so, um, everything that's happened since Major Fruits left. And yeah, we're just um, planning to go into NA soon, but right now we're just EU. Oh yeah, and we got you guys in here today. But uh, what what other events are you guys in? Uh... What other time slots do you guys play in right now? Um, at the moment, we are in the UEC, which is at um, EHGM or BST, and right now the HRE, but we're looking to play the Southern Aggression, maybe. Ah, very cool. And, uh, but yep, now we got an HRE today. Right now, 208 on the server pop. This is server 1, 108 on the attacking CSA, and 100 on the defending Union team. And we'll take a look at the defending union team first. They're live at 40, so we got a little bit of time here, and then they got to move out at a double quick. So it looks like we've got on the union team. Fifth Corps under Captain Chris Moto, CQB under Colonel Doug. Let's see here. Then we've got two USC under Captain Eddie, the so, uh, NYV, six New York under Ali Kite. And let's see, Lieutenant Souther is leading the 88th. And Captain Victor is leading the 4th New Jersey. And let's swing over to the CSA team. They have, let's see, two core under Ice Star. And we've got six LA as well under Zeo Panama. Then we've got HD. We've got Fort Georgia, your guys, under Captain Clarky. DB like, under you know, uh, Tunisimo. Oh, <laughs> Having an interesting conversation about Napoleon, I think. <laughs> the Tennessee under Colonel Knight. Uh, let's see. 13th Georgia under Lieutenant Dvorak. And 20th Georgia under Major Canada. So a lot of Georgia there. And then we have the AB, 5th Alabama, under Lieutenant Colonel Shovel. I think I missed the HD commander, who I think is Angle, but I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so we've got... Um, Captain Clarkie here, leading the uh, fourth Georgia. What what can we expect from him and your guys? You think from yep. this map? Uh, I'm I'm hoping for good things. Yeah, he's very experienced, especially in the leadership role. But um, yeah, also with the map, he's got really good map knowledge, in my opinion. So yeah, it should be good. Oh yeah, hey, we are now live at forty. But as per the rules, there are no bayonets, no sprinting until the thirty-minute mark. So this is going to be a tough one with this hill. Um, with the CSA starting out here, how would you, uh, if you were in the planning session right now, how would you uh, approach this map, do you think? Um, from their spawn, I think I'd just try to go very wide up to the um, high ground, up the very top of the heights. Uh, it's very hard to get an angle, yeah, right there. Um, there's a lot of good rock positions that the CSA can actually take um, at the very top, at the end of the road, so you can um and from there you can kind of just shoot down the usa and um, but it will be hard to get up there with this uh double quick and row that the hre has yeah them rocks right there they're really good and um, especially looking down to point where the usa is walking up the road but they the usa do have that advantage of their terrain which they have the the road which will be less steep than the csa's big hill that they're gonna have to climb up so to be honest i think the usa are gonna Put up a good fight on the top of that hill. It looks yeah. like they're both going for them high grounds. They are. This is one unit coming down here. Who is this? Ooh. I actually quite like this. Who's this? HD Angle. Um, he's coming. Mm. Uh, what, do, what do you think his thoughts process is right now? What do you think he's trying to do? I think I think either he's trying to take like a, the center maybe near point. But if I were him, I'd try go down the road past the camp, um, past the very bottom, and then try hit them from maybe the back. Yeah, I think that's what I'd do, and that 
yeah, from there, just hit them from the bottom of the road, maybe. Get a bit of confusion. And he might also be looking just to, maybe just to pre-cap a bit, maybe spoil the uh, the Union, kind of get into panic. Oh yeah, yeah, that can happen as well, and then they'll have to force the Union off that. But it looks like the Union is going to the high ground. And like you said, it's a fight for this high ground very early. Yeah. This, I think whoever wins this fight right now is it's going to determine who wins the game in total. Trying to find, I was trying to find, trying to find Fourth Georgia, but everybody's kind of mixed in. Oh, there they are. They're on the left there, yeah. I think um, what the CSA are doing right now, it's costing them quite a lot. I think they just need to go in and take that initiative before they get shot down because the Union are on a, a bit of a better position. Yeah, I hear Clarky saying we need to get in soon there. So even though it's only clubs, you would still say, hey, we need to just get close in there. Yeah, even just taking that initiative and just taking um, or making them fall back, it's, 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 it's what you have to do. It's just fire in advance on this map. You here we see Clark is moving up, taking them, their position, they just fall back. Oh, I'm out of bounds. Yeah, they're right at the border of, that, uh, of the map right there. Yeah. I think I think fourth wanted to move up there, but like the entire CSA team is seeming to hold back, so it doesn't allow them to have flexibility. They get a bit overextended. Looks like. But I like this move of HD here. Yeah, HD is doing the maneuver kind of like you talked about, and it's kind of fighting up this hill. Yeah. Able to catch like Eddie out here. So much movement. Yeah. Not often you see the home guard getting cut off, but. HD can do it. They're gonna fall back. Let's see. So the Union did leave one unit to guard the point here. It looks like 88th. Uh, let's see. So now Personally, it's... I don't... Yeah, no, go ahead. I don't know about that. Um, I don't... Like, NYV are quite a large unit. Maybe it's a smaller unit if I were in their strat sketch there. But what were you going to say, sir? It looks like the CSA might be trying to wrap around the uh, Union element here. Mm, yeah. I see what you mean, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this might be able to cut off these uh, reinforcements from the point. You know, on paper it looks like from a skyline view it does it looks good for the CSA right now, but trying to fight from the bottom of the hill up until the top is very, very hard. Yeah, it looks like the stronger union point is at the top of the hill, so I think that might be shaping yeah. them a bit to you know funnel them down that way. I think Union are doing a really good job of just holding this line and not letting them uh, take them off guard. You can see they, they took that rock position at the very top of the road that I was talking about, so they've got a really good position on this ESA right now. Yeah, well, my only concern is I think the 2 USC is uh, really the only guard here if they slip back through. Yeah, and kind of shoot, up to, the, yeah, shoot up to these rocks here and kind of get up and around them. Uh, we'll see if they actually try to maneuver that way. I think it looks like the Union's going to readjust some more troops to back up to UAC. Pull back down to these rocks. Oh, yeah. Um, I, think, I like what the 10th um, and HD are doing that's like completely cutting them off, but um, they just have to hold down on that rock the HD sitting there. Maybe advance a wee bit. Yeah, the CSA looks like they have maybe a slight ticket advantage. Not much. Angles down. Angles down. Here comes through court. I mean, did they give up the rock? I think they did. No, I don't either. I was about to say, I think they just completely gave up that position. 
the CSA have to look at that and advance now because I'm not lying, boys. I'm not lying. That's it. That's it. Form in, form in here. here. So many units just bunched up into this one little pocket. If they move up now and take the initiative, then you know they can secure that whole flank. Stand your ground for now. Eddie's guys here are a little bit isolated, and yeah, I think uh, they got a little bit bunched up, and once that happens, you kind of lose cohesion. Yeah, exactly. Organization is a big factor in these um, regimental events. I'm trying to coordinate with your other officers. Looks like Canada had uh, moved up to that position here. Yeah, I quite like Canada. He's a very aggressive player. I like it. Yeah, they're right at the uh, edge of the map here. I keep getting that stupid little warning. Yeah, I wish they expanded it out for uh, spectators. I guess it's too much programming, but... Yeah. Too much effort. Get into the rocks, boys. Get into the rocks. We're getting fucking massacred out here. You can see the, the US are just getting pushed back and pushed back. That's really not what they want right now. No, and we're getting close to the 30 minute mark. I think me. that might be what they are. Get away oh, here's your boys going up against Georgia, Eddie. You oh, yeah. yeah, I quite like um, my boys are just pushing up, lives. trying to take more and more ground. I'm pushing this, the Union into a, a killing pocket, which is really what they want in this map. No, <laughs> Seems like Eddie's invincible, never mind. He got shot. No, oh, he just, he, he takes a minute, but he, he'll go down eventually, eventually, <laughs> but, uh, you know. But, um, he, he's either the first or the last to die. That's usually how that goes. <laughs> but it seems like Eddie's been wiped there, and that's a lot of um, skirmish and a lot of buying tickets for the Union, and it's cost him, you can see, on that ticket bar. Yeah, and it's starting to, you know, float down here a little bit, and, um... We're getting close to the 30 minute mark. Um, any yeah. uh, any any changes you would have for the uh, Union team at the moment? Any any shifts in disposition? From the Union team, uh, if you see the flags at the very like you see there are people at the very bottom, I think they should um, either move up to the center or at the very top because the the center is wide open for the CSA to punch through, and it's the the top is very weak for. The, when in 30 seconds they get bayonets and sprinting, they're just gonna go straight for that top, I think. That's what they're gonna do. Think they're gonna make a play at the top? Yeah, I think I think as soon as they get bayonets and sprinting, they're sprinting straight for that high ground. So I think Union are gonna be a bit underprepared because there's so many uh, priorities that they're dedicating to right now. And Parker says I can hear the anticipation for Bengos. <laughs> we do have Parker, eyes in the sky, doing admin. Always appreciate it, Mr. Parker. Yeah, so we see this uh, massive, this is 4th Georgia DB, 20th Georgia all together. Yep, they're going straight for that high ground as soon as they go. Oh, what? Oh, they're not going straight in. Interesting. Where are they going? <laughs> Oh, maybe they're trying to wipe out the units at the very bottom and then pick up to the top. I don't, I don't disagree with it, but personally, I would just want to pick straight to the top. It was kind of a strange angle they took here. Yeah, I mean, I think they tried to punch through the center, but I, I don't know how that's going to work on that big rock position. Looks like it's going in their favor so far. The Union yeah, hasn't reacted like quickly you. enough, I don't think, here. Yeah. yeah Union is a very top player, however, just staying static at the moment. That is a mistake, in my opinion. You need to, like, okay, Victor's going in. Yeah, there's Victor, yeah. Oh, here comes Fifth Corps now coming in. Chris Moto's coming in. Up hill, up hill. 
Yeah, I think uh, it's a late reaction from the Union, but they got it eventually. Not, not a big fan of that attack angle from the CSLB. I think they've got Bridgehead at the very bottom, which they're probably going to use to pick up the great call. Face, 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 face. At this point. Yeah, they still got 10th Tennessee and uh, HD, and looks like uh, 6 LA. Still down here. Looks like they're going to try revive whatever the push was, but I, I think they're just going to run into a wall of bullets and bayonets. No, I think you're right. I think that was a little bit too. If that had gone on earlier, maybe, but. Yeah, you let them get reloads, you let them get reset, it's it a little bit too late. Yeah. I think very delayed from both teams there, but um, looks like the entire team is going to get some to that point. Yeah. Now, there's no uh, Steam chat, so it is, you know, it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, that, that's a good point, actually. It is very hard to coordinate these kinds of things, especially at so short notice. Yeah. Yeah. But now, uh, let's see, what a melee. Come to World Rights to watch you back later, not sponsored. I mean, you could sponsor me, Parker, you know. Take the look, second. Yeah, now we got a counter charge here by. Uh, looks like CQB is going to try to wipe out HD. Yeah. Like I said, they had a bridgehead down there, but they can just get overwhelmed really easily by these big USA units. All right, so that looks like the end of the first major push here, and neither team is uh, at engaged yet. What, what do you think about this initial engagement here? Um, I feel it's actually quite disappointing for the CSA. They had quite a good ticket lead, if you remember it. It doesn't seem like they've done a lot of damage. They've actually gone down in the ticket lead. So, I think that's really hurt them as well. They've lost their flags, all of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it so looks like all four, 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 four flags are down, yeah, for the CSA. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for them to recover from that then. Uh, what would you uh, what would you recommend now? What would you uh, say? Would you continue to fight at the top of the hill, or would you look for a different angle? You think? For the CSA, um, well, right now they have to all coordinate something. It looks like they're all just going in in their individual units, you? which is um, not very recommended. Um, although personally, I think I I think I should just go for the angle of attack at the very bottom because. You know, you've got that wall of uh, CQB and um, Second US and NYV at the very top of the hill that are just going to stop you dead in your tracks with no flags. So they're sitting right in front of them. So there's no way you're going to try to get them back unless you just go in and try charge. Which is really their only option if they try to go up. Sprint to the rocks! Get on the rocks! Independent fire! Give them the beans, man! Give them the beans! Yeah, the taking them rocks, but... The are they going to be able to hold them with like flags? I don't think so. Uh, it's going to be very tough to hold up against concentrated fire. Don't give them any space. Get out of here, panties! Is that Fuji Phil? <laughs> yeah. He is a very He's animated very character. I always like hearing on the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Independent fire to the right! To the right! Aim to the right! I think, uh, who's this, 5th Core? I that think is 5th Core, yes. Then. You know, it was very risky. Give it up, boys! Uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think that was kind of unnecessary, to be honest with you. They kind of got nailed yeah. by this uh, 6LA yeah, element at the side there. Yeah, I, I think it's like the magic punch is pushing that right yeah. now if they want to. I think they are, yeah. They 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 moved up, too. I, geez. They might just be stopped in their tracks by CQB here. Here comes everyone else, so I think they're going in for a general charge. Here. I stand with you, but hopefully it will work. No, Reverend, no! Don't count Down goes CQB's flag. I think they're wiped. Yeah, but fifth core's still there. Yeah, exactly. They just plug that gap really fast. It's like Knight is looking for an angle, but yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with what Knight's doing at the moment, but like, you know, just sitting back, it's uh, I think he needs to get on the attack. 
either with the team or somebody will try to get a flank. So. Yeah. I think he's in a hard position right now because NYV is on his opposite side of the road. He's, probably, he's not going to be able to get a good angle from there. No, it's going to be tough for him, yeah. Yeah, I think Knight's just deciding to um, go to the top with the rest of the team. Might even see a flank and attack here from Knight. I quite like this. Yeah. I think he might just get caught out, though, unfortunately. I think he needs to stop now. <laughs> I mean, good idea. I like the idea behind it, but um, I'm gonna take close up and personal if uh, if Corn C could be. Yeah, it was just a little bit too much to bite off. So, no, good idea. I think it's good seeing them trying to get different angles, um, but they just have to push together. Yeah. Well, their flags Honestly, are. Yeah, the flags have despawned now, so... Oh, we have yeah, a wide flank a over here. Say. Who is this? I bet this is HD. Brilliant. Angle trying to... Get over here at the edge. ...find something. Do some edging. Yeah, HD are taking this wide flank. Um, they're gonna have to be able to hit their shots from here, though. It's gonna be quite hard. Uh, if he can knock down the flag in the initial okay. volley here, he might have a shot. Yeah, I agree. Hitchy actually, there they go, they got the flag down. Hitchy has a really good chance here to wipe out NYV. Don't charge in, shoot it out, shoot it out. Uh, I think they got a... Yeah, they get the flag back up too quick. They'll be able to hold yeah, now. Now with HD, because HD really doesn't have that flag, so they had to win that in the first yeah. second without without. Yeah. Uh, that fire guys, they're moving. They're falling back. They're falling back. Shoot as they run. Yeah, now we see the HD are just gonna get cut down by this NYV on so. Uh, all right, copy that. If you guys need reinforcements, just uh, send a guy our way. Up. So it looks like uh, another. High ground push here by the CSA. I don't disagree with this because they have their flags now, so I think it will work. Yeah, I think it's got a much better shot now. The only, the only thing that will make this work though is if they, the officers run about and say, okay, this is what time we're pushing, do it, do it then. Yeah, doing it. Uh, all scattered is not going to work out too well. Not with the line the Union has right now. Six, about face, let's go. Oh, looks like the Union is going to pull back a bit. Again, like just at the very start of the match, quite similarly, the CSA can now just push up to that rock they were just on. Practically win the game. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused that they uh, gave that position up. I'm not sure. Maybe they're trying to you know, string him out a bit. But yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there they go. They push the high ground. Is what they need to do right now. Fifth core, I think, is a little overexposed here. Yeah, they're getting shot up by like three different angles at the moment. They're gonna have to fall back as well. And if CSA can take this initiative, they could just crumble the entire USA line, to be honest. Uh, I think they have the mass for it now, absolutely. Honestly, with the wall of bike. Um, people that they have at the very top. I, as CSA right now, go for the very bottom. Try to push out from there. When our friendlies get charged in the front, we directly join in with our friendlies. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I still think the attack from the bottom of the hill might work. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but. Victor. 
Yeah. But like it, it, it exposes them even yeah. just like taking the point, it exposes. Yeah, like if you can wipe out the 88th here and make the point, you know, you not take the point, but kind of just stay right above it and catch them as they're coming down on you. You know, I really, I really didn't just say taking the point. I would say that would be really good. I, I, it forces I would, the union to run away. From yeah, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't oppose it either. You stop the clock. There's a lot of benefits to it. So I guess, see if they are actually getting really good shots when you're right now. Like, you know, see the union line just dropping down by now. They are doing some damage here. Right in front, they're also you can't to miss. your north. They're also to your north, six. There. Yeah. Uh, there's you on my right. <laughs> I'm all right. An independent fire. Do you think does need to be a little cognizant at times, though? Easy targets. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, I'm going for all on one. You got to decide what we're doing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, not, even more. it's not unrecoverable now, but. You know, if you lose a charge and you gotta spend another three minutes without your flag, it's gonna get real tough. Yeah, you know, the, the timing does start to add up to it. I'm down. Let's see if I can find Fort George here again. There they are. You know, I, I quite That's like what this is, uh, is going on right now with like, like, the big uh, coordinated, you know, wall of the, they have to, they have to utilize this, they have to actually push with it all together. Like, we've got everyone here that should push. Yeah, 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 let's push. Let's push. Yeah, they're talking about it right now. Hold fire, Paul. Hold fire, hold fire. I'm not sure, was that Clarky that made that suggestion? I couldn't really tell with all the voices. I couldn't tell either with all the I think I think he was talking about it, so. Yeah, I think I, I heard they were sent. They, they're like sending messages and stuff to the 2 4 behind them. Like, again, everyone is involved in this And I think this might actually work in the CSA's favor because the entire USA team isn't. Uh, isn't up there. No, and, and you've gotten them on to this independent fire thing too, so you're not going to get too many shots coming into you. Exactly, yeah. Uh... And you know, if you can hit them hard, it's going to be tough for these troops CQB to move back up right now. Yeah, here they come. And yeah, see they just going pile everywhere. Now they can charge downhill on them. Exactly, now just to see that entire collapse. Of the yep, the entire Union line is just going to collapse here, just defeat them in detail. <laughs> see, they're able to hit each unit kind of in turn. Yeah. Each unit is just like getting slammed by the entire TSA team. It's great to watch. So they just gotta keep going. They just don't stop the TSA. No, there's keep a little going. bit too much up there that hasn't moved down here. They need to. Now they're starting to move. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they stopped up there. They're like, I, I think if everyone just kept moving, then like this uh, 88th group could have been wiped out as well. I mean, they can just go wipe them out now, everyone. Like, they, you know, they got that momentum. They have the momentum. The problem is, so you see here, we've got four Union flags. That's 48 men a minute. So in exactly, a minute, 48 yeah. more men are going to be here. You right now have the advantage. But since you yeah. stopped, you know, these guys are going to pop back in, back in, back in. Now, you well, did cap. Bad. So maybe the intent yeah. was just to be, hey, make the force them into the counterattack, which is not a bad idea. I th yeah, I think the CSA's uh, idea right now, oh, I'm taking in right there, was to cap and then force the, the Union to run uphill towards them. So that's, I mean, it, it's it's a good strategy. It worked. I mean, I, I always preferred, you know, if you could knock out these four flags and get them trapped, you know, 
coming up that hill on the main, it's over. You know, there's, yeah. the game is completely over. I mean, fair, fair play for the, the flags who got them out somehow. Come on, boys, flag up! Fifth course flag right here! Someone, please! Austin! Get the flag! Oh, oh God. He's in front in the north. Second to me! Fifth door, come on! Second to me now! Hey, what's down the hill? Oh, it's gonna, gonna hurt! Oh. I legit couldn't look low enough to We gotta move. Yeah, I also would have liked to get him down to taking losses before capping, but, you know, sometimes you can't that. Yeah, I mean, it's ideal, but, like, who okay, cares if it can happen. Doug got popped. He literally got popped. I'm gonna get that flag up, I'll be back. Yes, John. <laughs> as soon as we reach a point, we gotta take the hill again. See, the problem right now is Union's recapping. Oh, yeah. I don't understand why they say just give him that up. No, that's, that's, I, I don't know, yeah, it doesn't make any logic to me now. Which again, it goes back to why I think it's better to charge him off, because, you know, now you've spread out, now you got men off point, and they're going to recap. They won't get too much morale state back, but, you know, it's about a fifth, maybe? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, I like the idea of them taking them, but why they get them and just let them have the point? And see now, here's all the reinforcements oh, coming from Maine. Yeah, um, it's fine, lad. personally, it's I think, fine. It, like, the, in the you say you should just reset it after losing the point there and try to <laughs> <laughs> really take that point for a second and uh, oh, yeah, they, keep your with going. This is just like it. Up and over. This is just like the Hold, pirate. Pirate Let's see if uh, CQB run down that road, they can just retake the high, the high um, heights again. Or just be in the exact same stalemate as before. Yeah, and I mean, you could, I, I'm kind of amazed at not positioning units closer down here. And, you know, catching these guys. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's, there's a ton of positions you can occupy down here and just ambush these guys as they come up. Yeah, I mean, um... If there were any, if there were any time for a HD to be done, they'd be in their red, so it would be nice. It's a really good time. To the south, that is all blue. Direct south. Hot barrels. You see, they don't have the time to like be in the stalemate of just shooting at each other from opposite sides of the woods. So they have to actually be attacking because, you know, three quarters of the way for engaged on twelve minutes. It's not, it's not looking very good. No, no. I mean, I, based on this, I'd probably say, if there's not an attack, I'd probably say around 10 minutes, maybe 10.30, they'll hit taking losses. Yeah. It's, uh, 10 from Cal for... No. <laughs> oh, Clarky's going down the hill. Where's he going? What the hell are they doing? Um, these rocks, down these rocks, down these rocks. Maybe trying to find a new angle on the... Oh, it's wait a, a second. Oh, some of the CSA is right? going in. Some. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, shit. Independent like this was Oh, actually, charge, 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 get in. Alright. Oh, shit. Hello. Get that fire. Keep boys. Keep firing. I, I don't know what happened with that charge. Something, something weird happened. That, that, that completely knocked back. North, north east, get away from me. Now the CSA is yeah, capping yeah. again here. Yeah, I think that's went down to go to the cap, which I actually quite agree with now because the Union has just won the, the heights back. So yeah. the Union is like going to have to run. Try to recap the point. I'm looking for a good position for us. Dvorak, did you say that they were uphill from us? Uh, in front of us. Be ready for the charge and please independent fire. Southeast, everyone! So now, if you were the Union, what do you think? Would you just try to hold the position here, or would you try to, like, strike out a little bit? Um... Well, to be honest, like, they feel like all the people, um, well, basically all the people at the very top of my it's like they can just sprint all the way down full pace, like, at the point right now, and get that cap back, because, you know, every, 
every second that they're not on, you know, in the normal timer, they're just losing tickets uh, for no reason. Even if they do recap, they're still losing tickets. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, th I think right now the main priority needs to be attacking. I mean, here comes CQB. He's gonna try it, but it's unsupported. Yeah, yeah. Well, CQB's got the right idea of trying to recap it, but they're just to run straight into DD and Fifth Georgia on the left there. Yeah, they're just gonna get started. Cool. Yeah, nothing's happening at the top of the hill. That's the problem. Yeah, that's, that's the main issue right now. You see CCB, um, of course, like, completely different charges and it's all very unsupported. And now the, the CSI could actually do what you were talking about and uh, sit at the very, like, intersection at the bottom there. And shoot them as the charges run up there again. Either from the, the camp or... Yeah, just just farm tickets for those guys coming up because they'll come up, you know, kind of. Exactly. And if they if, you, if they get shot, they have to come all the way back and spawn as well. But, um, yeah. Again, I think the CSA took really good initiative there. I think they yeah uh, got back their momentum and stuff. And right now, I think they're they're winning. And honestly, uh, after that, they've knocked out like what a third of the the, the Union team. They could push up and probably knock out the rest of them. Yeah, two flags are down. Yeah, for the Union right now. It's gonna take several minutes for these guys to make the trek up there. I think I've timed exactly, it one time. Yeah. I think it's two thirty minutes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's something around them. But like, you know, while while they're Taking their time trying to get up to from their spawn, they could just uh, run up and kill the rest of these people. I think it's the uh, NYV and uh, another unit. Yeah, just turn around and stuff them on the way up. Yeah. I also don't disagree with just sitting there and shooting them like a wrist and the defender's time, which is okay. Uh, I think that's the safer option. I, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you know, as long as you yeah. have two, like one or two units. Well, see, they didn't. See, if you had one or two units down here to kind of engage yeah. this as it comes up, you'll be fine. But now you can end up with these guys. You know, yeah. look how strung out they are right now. Like, if you could hit these guys as they come up, you know, you could hold them with a small unit. Exactly. Like, even just sending, like, a HD or someone down there to just stop them coming up. Like you said, they're really strung out right now. They're easy pickings. But, um, I think one of them units uh, are just going to turn around and start them up. Because they're all just sitting on the CPB flag right now. And, yeah, I'm quite annoyed with nobody. Oh, it looks like a uh, Union charge coming down the hill, though. We got good cover right here, just hold your ground. Oh, yeah. They're all over there. And CQB got the flag back, so it's just there actually. Stand up and see your wall. It's true for you, man. Go to hell to get done. Hope I send you some points. Yeah, north! To the north! To the north! North! Really good hold so far from the from the CSA. Right? Yeah, that charge was a little bit too scattered, to be honest. Like, half went one way, half went the other way. You, you kind of can't do that. You got to be concentrated. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And the Lily one on that side, um, with second, they're uh, going to get wiped out by the rest of the, the CSA in the middle there. Uh, CQB actually yeah, coming up now, pushing up from the uh, the other side. They might be able to do it here. Oh, wait a second. What's coming down the hill here? 20th Georgia. Second into cover, east. Defend yourselves. <laughs> they charged in. They charged in. Here they come. Get away. <laughs> Yeah, really, I think that was really good time from the CSA because like, you could hear the, the US Air was trying to uh, reorganize there, but I think him put it. I think the Union's got it, to be honest with you here. Yeah, I think that Union at the very bottom of the road is going to cap. 
But even even then, Stop. I think it's CSGO is is good in position on top of the hill. When they do recap, they can just... Uh, yeah, I mean, they'll be at uh, a little bit less than taking losses at 11 minutes. Yeah, I mean, like, think about their posi the CSA position before and after the recap. They've completely flipped of what the where the union was. So, um, from here, the CSA has got a really good attack angle, and here comes second court. Ah, oh, this is a mistake. They are charging. Yeah, it's, they, they need to become supported. There's no point going in now. I think got some movement down here by somebody who is this by two core. I think they should just hold that position at the very top. I don't know why they give that up for no reason. Stay in formation. Behind, behind. Reps you down the hill. Behind us. Behind us. Behind us. I hear Fuji. Fuji, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, I can always tell where Forrest Georgia is on the battlefield, even when I don't have the, uh, the uh, you know, the, uh, the name tags up. I'm like, oh, yep, there's Fuji, there's Forrest Georgia. <laughs> it's like Eddie, you know, it's like the guys that, you know, have really distinctive voices in this game. Exactly, yeah. But, um, I, I can't even tell who, who this is working out for at this point. Uh, Union is losing a lot of tickets right now. I mean, I, I will say they are losing a lot of tickets. Yeah, good point. No matter who this goes in favor of, the Union have lost a lot of tickets from You still have this element down here kind of intercepting. So I think the CSA will be able to take this here. They just need to push. Yeah, they really do just need like one big like, push together. There's, there's plenty of it up here. It's just they're so hesitant to come down. Pull these flags back, pull these flags back. Positioning by Zeo Panama's gas down here. I mean, he's about to get hit though by... Who's this? That's Victor here, got behind him, yeah. He doesn't have a lot of men with him now. Yeah, the flank has been flanked by the 14th Jersey. So yeah, they're gonna run back to a different... And going. They're going to catch that flag as it come, comes by, hopefully. Nope, oh, somehow slipped away. But still, um, I think the CSA have just secured the field again. Uh, if the CSA defends forward like they should, it should be over. Like right in here. Like this is where you defend. Right in here. I'm down. Yeah, I agree. They really just got to push up there. Because yeah, they're going to come. Like they're they're going to come right kills. up this alley. They're not going to take the long route. Terrence, I want There's no way they're going to take the long route. Exactly. They don't have time to. <laughs> they have them here. They're all tired. They're all, they're only going double quick, and you just shoot them. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you remember when uh, CQB came up there, they were all like strung out. They're, it would be easy to get this, um, the CSA push up. And just take out the, the union and stay push. I mean, they may go the other route, but I, I mean, if they do, it's it's kind of silly. That takes you at least three to four minutes just to get around. Yeah, exactly. Like, imagine forming up your unit and then having to, you know, walk all the way up there, and you're probably just going to get moved down anyway because you don't have a flag. So, gonna come, yeah. gonna come up this road. Straight up the middle. Off point. Yes, yes. Make this turn. All the way up exactly. here. You know, and, you, like, know, you, you, you know, woods yeah, if I come, if I dip right here, I'm still in the same spot, but then, okay, I go in the woods. That's even more uphill yeah. shit I gotta do. Exactly, yeah. Like, how much time does it say on the yellow timer? Five minutes? That, like, that's that, that's what they're doing. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go with them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they do this, they only have time for, you know, one you, coordinated you, charge. Yeah, you've like, got, you, you, this is like, you've got maybe one minute of fighting. Yeah, like this, is, I think, you know, it can work, but it's a very big commitment for the Union to make right now. And like, see, it's like an easily moving for to combat them. And I think, uh, I hear Doug saying that he wants to, you know, go deep into the force on the east and northeast right now. I mean, he can, but that's more time you're going to lose. 
Exactly. Yeah. 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 And you know, if, the, if the Union split up right now and they get yeah. wiped individually, then they're going to be coming out again individually. Well, for, you're you're, you're going to be by its very nature here. I mean, look at the look yeah. at the Conga line. Exactly. Yeah. Just this really strong right line of Union. You know, it's not going to work. You've just been spotted, so you know you don't have any surprise. They know you're going this way. All right, exactly. Six, yeah, seven, they're gonna. Watch. Then privates who just shot at them are gonna say they were superiors, and then CSA are all just gonna manage to watch and watch them. And where Doug is walking hold up here, right hold now. Here, hold here. <laughs> yeah, you see there, Justin. Yeah, really good reaction from the CSA there. I quite like that. Fast reaction speed. I see movement in the field. Also got probably this is Zio, I would imagine. Yep, that's Zio. It's like Knights with him as well. Yeah. Behind. Rebels behind. You see, the Union, they're eventually going to run into steam because, you know, they don't have flags. And yeah, look at that wall they're running into. Exactly, yeah. It's like the very, uh, the reverse at the very start of the match. They're just running into a big wall of bullets and bayonets. Rebels here's Cap. Here's Cap right here, right here. Look at that. Flag down, flag down, flag down. Rebels in the back. I'll be surprised if the Union actually make it to the CSO, you know? Like, of course, they're just gonna wipe them out there. There's no. Eighty-eight made it on. Or is it six? Somebody made it behind. Yeah, and NYV looks the. We try and get an angle on them from there, but um, two minutes left on the clock is, you know, not a lot of time to coordinate something. Six, you know, two seconds just need to really turn around and then start shooting down and like they're not. Nice try. Yeah, I mean, just like uh, CQB, like, NYV are going to wipe out one unit, but you know, eventually they'll run out of steam. And in this case, they smashed into two courts. And the other is for wipe. Yeah, this, this counter charge now by 10 Tennessee and Zio Panama's guys. This will be the end of it. Oh, you're dead! Come on, motherfucker! Uh -huh, they might be able to hold on. Just... Never mind. No, they're all dead. Oh. Oh. I don't know why one of these privates from the Union aren't just picking up the flag and running with it. Looks like they held on, though. Yeah, you know, it's all about reacting right now because uh, see they're coming from their spawn now. Not a lot of time there to yeah, it's, actually make something worthwhile. Yeah, it's, over. It's, 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 it's done. Yeah, the CSA should just counter charge. Just stop them. Yeah, uh, I think it's just easier to delay them from getting to the point than have to point, hold the point itself. But a little point from the CSA actually, just trying to get back from what they were. Really yeah, it was, uh, yep, there we are. There's the end oh, of it. So, yeah, yeah, what do you think of this new slow mo thing? Oh, I, hate, I, 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 I mean, it's, it's <laughs> occasionally I've seen some cool shots like cannons going off or guys getting shot in the head in slow mo, but most of the time it's just like, okay, um, you know. Yeah. So, get another thing we didn't ask for that they wasted time on. <laughs> well, yeah, any, uh, any final thoughts on the map? Um, yeah, like I said, I think. CSA had it rough at the very start, but um, 
you know, I'm glad they got the momentum back. I think Union just needs to divert their forces to boot better. And um, yeah, really good, really good watch. Yeah, it was interesting to see a Maryland Heights on this one, but I, you know, didn't really uh, the thirty minute thing didn't really seem to change it that much, to be honest with you. The HRE yeah, was. I agree. It was just it, it was just like a normal enough match, but um, I like I like how the, um, the CSA used the early cap to their advantage by making the USA have to you know attack them rather than have to run into their wall. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, that is it for the map one. We'll uh, see you all for the next uh, map two.